So welcome to a 6 Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use math functions in Visual Basic. And what I mean by math functions is basically like a calculator we can add, uh, subtract, multiply and divide. And that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to build a calculator. And all of this can be done in pretty much any programming language. So if you choose to go into Java or C Sharp or C++ You'll, in all of those languages you'll be able to use math functions so what we're going to do is we're going to have two text boxes so just find text boxes and just drag them out copy and paste them so we've got the right uh, dimensions and then put a button in as well just stretch it out as much as you want build your layout as, as you want it's not going to affect the program but key components we need text boxes two text boxes and a button so change the text for the form to calculator and for the button I'm just going to change this to pl plus since at the moment we're just going to have addition we will add subtraction multiplication and division later but just for now it's going to be addition so we need to check what the names of these text boxes are so the first one is text box 1, second one is text box 2. So double click on the button and you should see button 1 click. And then in here we need to declare a couple of variables. So declare total as integer, declare uh, first as integer, and declare second as integer. So total is going to hold the total once you've added them together. First is going to hold the first number that we're adding, second, second number that we're adding. So make some space between this. And now we're going to actually declare, we'll set the value for first and second. So we're going to set first equals and text box one dot text then the same for second equals text box two dot text so that's fairly simple so it makes some more space so this is declaring what they're equal to now we're going to actually add them up so we're going to do total so the total variable up here equals first plus second that makes some more space and now we're going to display a message box with the final answer so we could do message box dot show put the brackets and in here we're going to put answer and then a colon then it's important that we have a space I think I talked about this in a previous tutorial but if I didn't basically we put the space in to break up this word from the next word or number or whatever. So outside of the quotations, we're going to put the and the and sign, so shift and seven. And the reason we're putting this and not the plus is because we're dealing with numbers here. And as you can see, I used the plus here to add them together. Because we're dealing with numbers, we're putting this instead of the plus. If we were to put the plus, it would attempt to add them together and since this is an number it would fail that and it would give us an error so we put this and sign here this one you can use anywhere this is actually probably better to use but uh, never mind so you put and and then total so just like that so it's going to show the answer colon and then total so if it's 10 it's going to show answer colon space 10 so that should be ready to run you say if you run that no errors so we could put two numbers, so 56 and 78, add them together, answer 134, which is correct. So if you close all of this, make sure it stops up here. And I'm going to copy all of this text. Actually, no, I'm not going to copy that. I'm going to make this smaller. Copy that, paste it, a few, paste it three more times so that we've got four buttons. Make your form just look nice. 
make it all line up. Then I'm going to change these button, the text of them to minus times and divide. Like that. And the times one, you can't really make it out clearly, but that is an asterisk. So shift and eight. So if we go back to our code now and we copy all this code that we just typed out, close that, and go to minus, and we can just paste it in here. And since this is the operator, we can change this. So I'm going to change that to minus. So it's going to do first, so the first variable minus second variable. And go into the times one, paste that, paste that in again, neaten it up a bit, and put times there. So again, that's an asterisk. Divide, paste that in, and do forward slash. So now if we run this, we can do 12 and 56, so we can add these together, answer 68, minus them, answer minus 44, so as you can see it works in minus numbers as well, times it together 672, divide them, answer is 0. So we can close all of that now, and that's how to do math functions in Visual Basic and as I said this will be useful in every programming language it might not seem useful now but just as variables did they didn't seem useful either but here you can see how variables are actually used and how they're a lot more useful and you will see this with math functions when you get onto advanced programming you'll be using math functions all the time as well so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial